when I went back right after the war, uh, my uncle met me uh, at the train, and we stopped by uh, a fellow named, I think his name was Clarence Menzer or something, but he was a, 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 um, a vice president for uh, NBC, and he, he had a, a beautiful TV set. And, and it was when I saw that, and I thought, wow, this, this, this is a new world. Uh, and I just, that was when the thought occurred to me that, that there would be, a, there would be a new world for, for animation. I thought I would do it through my uncle, and I thought we would be involved. But it was later that he told me, he said, Alex, if, if we had anything to do, if Taylor Tunes said anything to do with uh, television, 20th Century Fox would uh, drop our release because they, they saw television as the, as the great threat to their whole world. And he said, so if you want to do this, uh, he says, well, you, I suggest you do it on your own. Just don't tell anybody who's, uncle, you, who's your uncle. <laughs> Now, did you talk to him specifically about limited animation? Well, I he uh, we were aware of it there. I uh, it was it was, uh, but I thought th there were other aspects uh, to, to to developing lim limited animation that I had learned from. Uh, of, I did I tell you that I had seen a, a film. Uh, called The Reluctant Dragon. A, 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 a Disney had produced a, a motion picture called The Reluctant Dragon. And as part of it, it, it was uh, another sequence where Bob Benchley goes behind the scenes of what uh, ostensibly just in the story department where they've got the, the, the art lined up on the wall and they're telling him uh, the, the story and that was uh, the, that was a case where they just had the stills and a, a little lip action so that was some uh, movement and uh, when I came away from that and I thought really that 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 was every bit as interesting as the fully animated reluctant dragon and I felt at that point that yes, this this is this is going to be a, this is going to be a, a new world for animation. Now, why did you decide to apply it to television? Well, as I say, I thought television was. Uh, unfortunately, we went in pretty early. We went in in '48, and only about uh, when when I came west and Jay and I teamed up. Uh, it was. Uh, Probably only one family in a hundred had a TV set, and uh, so uh, I, j I just thought it's going to be a growing thing, and I just thought let's get in on the ground floor. And when uh, I thought that it would be a, a a way to do what we would call the comic strips of television. Had anyone else been do producing animation for television at that point? I don't believe so. Uh, that apparently we were the first, uh, and we were probably in too soon because uh, financially the, the it just wasn't with only one one family in a thousand having a a TV set. There probably wasn't advertising enough advertising dollars to pay for it, and of course the TV was coming in free. So it, it was a very, there, there wasn't enough money at that time, we, as we discovered as we went along. But it was still fun to be, it was kind of like we were the Wright brothers all over again, and, it, and a, an exciting new uh, opportunity.